Hey, hey, and welcome to Shuriken Skills, session number 14 in the Work Smarter, Not Harder Dojo with me, Tony Harmer, a.k.a. The Design Ninja. In this movie, we are going to learn how to create auto-sized text frames in InDesign, which is super, super useful, especially if you're setting in English and waiting for translated content, because it obviously changes quite a lot. Well, that's true pretty much of any language. So in this layout here, I have a text frame just filled with some placeholder text like so, and I'm going to zoom in on that. And I've got some additional content on my clipboard. So I'm going to double click here and then hit return to add a new paragraph and then paste. And you can see here the normal behavior is that it just fills to the end of the frame and then tells me there's overset text. So I'm just going to undo that a couple of times and hit escape to leave the text frame. You can use the shortcut Command B or Control B on Windows. You can also access it via the context menu. If you right click, you'll see text frame options just there. And it's also available in the object menu. So once you get to the dialog, what you're actually after is the auto size tab here. And then you can determine how the frame auto sizes. And you can see the options here. I'm going to choose height only. And then I need to change the reference point to make sure that it expands in the right way. So if I left it at center, for example, it would grow in both height and depth. So at the top and the bottom of the frame. But I'm just going to tap the icon here for the top center. That means it will now grow downwards. So if I hit OK, so now if I double click here to enter into editing mode for the text, hit return to create a new paragraph and then paste, you'll see that the frame auto expands to accommodate the new content. And there you are. That is this week's Shuriken skill for you to practice. Don't forget, if you want to learn more even faster, do check out my titles on lynda.com and LinkedIn Learning. But for now, we're done. Please do subscribe to the channel, reach out to me via Facebook and Twitter, spread the word, and I'll see you next Monday for another Shuriken Skill session.